You're watching WMAR 2 News. With this digital news update, I'm Kelly Swoop. A former Baltimore City police detective with ties to the Gun Trace Task Force will spend more than two years in prison. Today, a judge censored Robert Hancard to 30 months in prison. He was found guilty on charges of corruption and conspiracy back in March. He was convicted for planting drugs on a suspect and lying on a search warrant request. He was also convicted of conspiring with other officers to plant a BB gun on a man back in 2014. That was after the GTTF member Sergeant Wayne Jenkins ran over that man with his car. The man who Jenkins ran over, Demetric Simon, filed a $17 million lawsuit against the police department and several members of the Gun Trace Task Force. Jenkins is serving 25 years in prison for his role in the GTTF scandal. Everything from cars to refrigerators could get a lot cheaper thanks to a bill heading to the president's desk. The CHIPS Act passed the House a few hours ago after passing the Senate last night. The act is an amendment to a much larger funding bill. It would provide incentives and funding for tech companies to build semiconductors in the U.S. for the purpose of manufacturing computer chips. Those chips are the reason we've had some shortages on things like cars and gaming consoles. Maryland Congressman David Trone spoke with us about his support of the bill. And it's investing in America. It's going to create 100,000 jobs. And too often, this body, Congress, they think short term. And this is exactly, you know, investing in our country, investing in our workers. So we've got to get the semiconductor industry production back in the U.S. The final vote on the amendment came 243 to 187, all but one Democrat voting in favor, along with 24 Republicans. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Starting off your Friday morning with a mix of sun and clouds and some warm numbers getting warmer as we push into the afternoon, but we're watching an advancing cold front that's going to bring a chance of some showers and storms, some of which are going to be strong to severe damaging wind and heavy rain, our primary concern. Not going to stop the temps, though, from climbing into the upper 80s, low 90s for highs, and then we are slightly cooler but less humid as we head into your Saturday, where we're looking at mostly sunny skies and highs in the upper for 80s for the day, a few more clouds on Sunday, and watching the return of rain chances Monday and Tuesday. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day. We'll bring you updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2news app in the App Store.